I might start this again and edit that bit or not. Um, so this is one of the first video logs. Um, I'm trying out a new camera here and I wanted to make a video log because I am so excited. I have, as I intended to do this week, I've just spoken to the lady who wrote the Freedom Program. You can see the sun shines on there, that's not very helpful. And the book Living with a Dominator is a book so easy to read, it's absolutely brilliant about the abusive personality and it's it works alongside a programme which is often offered to people who have experienced domestic abuse. Uh, the Freedom Programme, if you can get an opportunity to do the Freedom Programme, speak to your IDVA, your Independent Domestic Violence or Abuse um, Advisor, and see if that they can find a place where the Freedom Programme is happening. So I just spoke to Pat Craven and I am so excited. So we have the go-ahead from Pat Craven to refer comprehensively to this book. This book is the model of the abusive personality and if you have any question about whether you're in an abusive relationship I recommend reading this book. Um, if you have a friend who's in an abusive relationship I recommend reading this book. Uh, if you have been in an abusive relationship I recommend reading the book again. It shows um, warning signs, things you can look out for and it also compares um, with the more positive role model if somebody is not abusive. In this book they are the friend and they are supportive, it's an equal relationship, all the positives. These relationships, these people do exist and this is critical in my videos. I want people to see that if a person is abusive, a person is abusive. Can something be done about it? Yes. If a person is abusive, they are abusive. If they are not abusive, then they're not abusive. It's very black and white, so in the way that I see it. There's the model of the, the abusive personality, the dominator. And we're going to put up on the screen one of the pictures in the Freedom Programme, which is this one. You won't be able to see it here, but I'm hoping that we can edit this. So the dominator, and it's all about controlling women. And in this book, like in my videos, we are referring to a man-woman situation. And I am disclaiming again and again and again this does not mean that domestic abuse only happens between a man and woman and that it only happens from a man towards a, mo a woman. However, in a patriarchal society such as we live, or a, a society that has been very patriarchal, if you go back just 50 years, then it's more likely that it's going to be this way round and it's going to be this model. Of the cases I see as a solicitor, it is the majority are women. Have I ever seen a case where a man is experiencing domestic abuse from a female partner? Yes, I have, more than once. It's not very often. And do I experience these cases where women stop contact or parents stop contact just for the sake of it? That's really rare. It's really, really rare because usually after separation people move on. So they, they don't want to keep the fight going, if you, if you will. When there are children involved, the parents have to communicate when, in circumstances where they didn't have children, they may have just gone their separate ways and never have spoken again. So, the ongoing link is the children. This is the thing that, like anything, can be open to abuse. And what this book is really good at doing is showing the abusive personality type and showing that there is a different type and it does exist. I know I'm just plugging the book over and over again, I'm plugging the Freedom Programme. I am just so excited to have spoken to Pat Craven just now. And I'm going to connect with her on Twitter, which will be the first independent tweeting I've ever done. And um, yes, and we're going to take it from there. But this is very, very exciting. So thank you for um, your continued support. If you are watching this, this is a video log and it's... Therefore, the more intimate, the ones that are just sort of my thoughts alongside as we, as we work through the, the video channel, the Survivor Diaries. If you do have comments, um, and because you're using the video logs, because you've got access to this through Patreon, then 
please do give me feedback, please do ask any questions that you have. If you want to send me, as brief as you can, details of your own situation, your own experience, or if you have questions, legal questions that you want to ask me, then there should be an email that's popping up now. And we will aim to read as many of those as we can. We will give some feedback on the Survivor Diary videos and we will give some feedback continuing in these small video logs. So I'm very excited. I just wanted to share that with you and um, thank you again for your ongoing support.